I just think that we need a separate road system for all the truck drivers and all the bikers and ambulance people because it's just bullshit. You know, you're trying to drive fast and all, there are all these fuckers and trucks taking up the whole road and driving as slow as they please. And the trucks, the truck drivers think they're so important. We gotta get our deliveries on time. We don't care if it takes forever. We don't care that we're taking up the whole road. Look, I'm a truck driver right now. Look, I'm a big fat fucking truck driver and I'm gonna drive as slow as possible and cause traffic. You know? I don't reckon to know nothing about no trucks. I don't, never, I don't drive a truck. I'm a lumberjack. I just cut down trees. I don't reckon to know nothing about that. You know that. what, dude? You're like talking to a fucking moth. A dead moth. That's what talking to you is like. It's like having a conversation with a dead moth. Now, I just don't know how it got to this. I was happily married, and I got divorced, and now I'm living in a fucking car with some weird lumberjack dude who can barely hold a conversation. No, I knew two people who, who were stuck in a car back there over on Northfield, and they both went crazy. And I don't reckon I want that to be... I don't reckon I want that. I, I don't reckon I, I want that to be. Yeah. I thought I was fucking weird until I fucking met you. This isn't... This isn't how I want to live my life. I didn't want to live my life living in a fucking car. So you could at least... try to make some type of conversation. Mmm... Well, you just stay over there on your side of the car, right? Stay over there on your side of the car and don't be coming over to my side. We don't want, we don't want no funny stuff happening. Yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. I, I can't come up with the words to describe how depressed and angry I am. I just I can't come up with the words. They escape me. <laughs>